Queens and Queens, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys like the new background. It's more crisp, clear, you can actually see me a lot better. Thumbs up if you like this idea. The white, the ensemble. Hey. Anyway, so I just actually just filmed this makeup look. So it should be up pretty soon, as in like this week. Uh, yes, honey. Yeah. So I purchased, so actually, I went online. I found this new website. It's called Miss A. I'm not sure how new it is. I do know that um, my homegirl Raven, which is actually my homegirl, but this YouTuber Raven uh, did a video of it and I was like, yo, this stuff is really cheap and it's like just affordable as Elf and NYX and all this crazy stuff like that. And it's really affordable as well. So I thought I would, you know, check and see and, you know, whatever. Um, true to its word, online it actually is a dollar, a dollar, a dollar, a dollar. Some things are like, I think some things were like two, maybe like three dollars. But everything I swear was like a dollar. I'll leave everything I actually got in the links down below. Um, let's actually some makeup removers. Um, AOA I believe is the house brand, indoor house brand, I'm not 100% sure. But it comes with 15 pre-moist wipes. It's alcohol free and it's in cucumbers. So that was kind of cool. I wanted to try these out. I do a lot of heavy makeup um, outside of YouTube and my own personal time. I love dramatic stuff. I love purple. Purple, you'll probably see purple all over my channel because I love purple. But um, so this was probably one of the best things I could get from them. So I'm gonna probably try this out later tonight. And these were, I believe, a dollar. Killing it. I got my first wonder blender or beauty blender um it's again from aoa which i believe is just their house brand their house name so i got one of these i have never used a beauty blender before i've seen a lot of youtubers use them i've seen a lot of my friends and my sister uses them as well and i went my hands on it but i was not and honey i say i was not about to pay 30 dollars on a sponge i don't care what it does to your makeup i don't care i was not gonna pay 30 dollars for a sponge so this was a dollar, yay! Okay, so I got this one. It's the Wonder Blender. It's latex free, high definition cosmetic sponge designed for easy applying and blending. Use it with primers, foundations, powders, cream brushes, and other complexion products. Unique design is great for large areas of the face and hard to reach areas. Dope. Two e.l.f. brushes, and these were a dollar. <laughs> and one is the eye crease. Blah, eye crease brush and the one is an eyeshadow brush uh i think i actually own one of these i think it was the eyeshadow brush i've actually gotten before i'm not 100 percent sure i form crisp pretty clear and it's just a little eyeshadow brush this thing i grabbed was one of their in-house brushes so i got a single one and i got a bunch of other ones so this one here was what is this? This is just the Studio AOA Studio F15, and it's just like a foundation brush. I know I use my foundation. I don't really use my brushes, but their 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 purpose is actually for. So I got this. Oh, this is soft. I was kind of worried about it. Does it shed at all? It doesn't seem to be shedding, which is always a bonus. Um, but it just looks like that. And I'm hoping to use it as as my new foundation brush because the brush I use for my foundation as you guys probably seen it's like it doesn't want to do its justice anymore it's just a buffer brush it's not really meant for that I mean you can use it for whatever there's no real set rules for how you can use your brushes I mean if it does its job and it's a job right but I want to use this for my foundation and use my actual foundation I've been using for my contouring and my highlighting so we're going to see how that turns out and this was a dollar this clear eyelash apprehensive glue now you all know how much i swear and live by my lash glue um it's like my favorite thing ever but i wanted to try something that was different i don't really know why it just, it's just kind of calling to me i don't know i did some research on it and it just seemed to hold a lot better and it comes off a lot easier and it's clear gel glue too so i don't know if you can actually see that it might be too bright for you guys but um i don't know i thought i would just try it out it's um, i actually got one of their sets of brushes so there's two sets online that you can pick from this is again their in-house brand and this is ten dollars for one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so you get 12 brushes in this one i think the other one you get 15 but there was a few brushes that i wasn't really 
needing or wanting to already have a few of those. Oh, I see some shedding happening. Do you set your flat brushes? You got your crease brush brushes. You got some eyeshadow brushes in different sizes. Your angle brush right here. You got a whole bunch of smacking brushes, and they're all super freaking soft. And then a fan brush for my highlight, because I know that <laughs> some people, when I say some people, I mean like my friends at work, not obviously online, you can't see it, but like, I know that I, holy shiz, that is thick. This is pretty thick. Like, look how thick that is. Yo. But, um, I want to use this for my highlight, it's actually like what it's meant to use for, not the brushes I keep using. So I'm gonna kind of just fan it out, fan it out. But anyway, and then again, I got this brush already. I didn't realize it was in the same set when I bought it, but there's two foundation brushes. So, I mean, something happens to this one or whatever, I've got to spare, which is awesome. And then I've just a really small, fine brush. A whole bunch of brushes here. I'm excited to try them out. I can test them out, let you guys all know. Let you guys all know, whoa, how um, these turn out. They are super soft. They seem like they're pretty good quality. I mean, I will let you guys all know how these guys all do. Now into makeup, I was a little scared to try the foundation and stuff like that they had online, but I'm obsessed with lipstick and lip gloss and lip liner, so I got a whole snack full. It just comes in a big package like that, like holy crap. So I got two foundations, they're both in a matte finish, they look like that. So one is pretty light and one is more of a medium darker tone with my skin tone i can use different foundations and they all pretty blend pretty well unless you get kind of on the orangey side and too dark but with it being summer i do get a lot lot darker so i thought maybe mixing this one and another foundation i usually use when it's the summertime uh, would be pretty helpful this one comes in hazelnut this one comes in mocha what is this Yes. Okay, so this one here, liquid, oh my god, liquid um, eyeliner. Oh my god, look how fun that tip is. Like, talk about a straight wing liner, y'all. Brush is kind of hard, which is okay. You're really looking for a straight liner. I'm excited to try that. Look how shiny that is. Ooh, yeah. So this is what this is. It's just a liquid form in a lipstick kind of bottle, which is kind of really pretty and cute. This is um, a, a matte lipstick, long wearing flat finish and it's in the color autumn so let's go ahead and quickly swatch this that's really pretty look how pink that is okay let's try this sucker so first impression for this guy is this the actual lipstick is kind of um wobbly inside like it's not it's not really secure but that's what that first one looks like that's what autumn looks like you guys let me do another swatch so you can see it a little better I mean, it comes out really smooth and it's really pigmented which is dope the only thing is I don't like is it kind of comes on with like a crayon, like just the feel of it, where you have to do like almost a one swipe and two swipe, and it's like, whoa, here I am. So that's the autumn. So the next one I got is an Obsess. Though. Like it looks really high end, the black and the gold. Like that looks pretty legit, like really nicely done. Yes, yeah, so this one is an Obsessory. So again, okay, I don't know if it's just my packaging that's doing this, or if the lipstick is coming out like cut off like a little flat I'm not sure you can actually see that or not so this is an autumn again the lipstick comes off like it's gonna fall out which is kind of scary but that is autumn that's a really pretty color too almost like a burnt orange a little bit and it says it comes in matte it's coming out more creamy not so matte maybe if you let it dry for a few minutes but it should have been like a minute or two for the pink. So that one is Obsess, which is pretty dope. Next color I got is in Zipper. It's in the pink, or purple. It's in the purple, and that's what this one looks like. Similar to what I'm wearing right now. Yeah, that's the purple. It looks just identical to what I'm wearing. But this is a matte, so I guess it really does, well, the purple's coming out really matte, and, and actually, yeah, you know what? It is pretty matte. Ah! For a dollar, you guys, this is awesome. Look at this pigmentation. Yes. Oh my god, I freaking love it. I'm so happy that this is like a legit and like awesome website. Uh, it's called Long Lasting Ultra Matte Lip Gloss. Holy crap. Okay, so the first layer is really sheer. That's the first layer. You can see, you can still see my skin tone past it. So I think you have to do like a couple layers. You have to do like two coats, I think. But that's this one. It looks similar to the, a little on the streaky side, but it's 
the pigmentation you guys is what's killing me right now for a dollar one dollar one dollar one 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 that's what you're getting yes honey yes so this is this guy here you're running oh my goodness okay again it's it is really sheer and it is super streaky you have to like, use like a few coats I think you let it dry and then but again the pigmentation is on fire they all look similar I just noticed that they all look like this, this is, I don't know these are the colors I just go to but like that is what that looks like y'all that's this one here this one which is coming in more a light nudish pink I would say yo this one is not streaky at all and this is beautiful look at that you guys holy crap oh my god I'm like in love with that color how can you not be in love with that Holy crap. Yo, this is bomb. I'm I'm impressed. Like, holy shoot. Okay, so I'm looking at them now and they're as they're drying and they really are true to word. Like this is coming up so matte, it's crazy. Matte, matte, matte. This one is drying right now. Whoa. This one's drying right now. And that's turning out matte. Yo, Miss A, hook a sister up. Like, this is bomb. I'm I'm so happy. How hard it is to find like true to the, well I'm not gonna say true, but like how hard it is to find like really affordable and cheap lipstick that's like matte and gorgeous and just stay the art. Oh shoot, I think I just like scratched the lid. The packaging is bomb too, like come hot. And that, let's do it right here. Impression. It is streaky, but that's okay. Like, no hate. Yo, check that out. Yeah, I know. I'm obsessed with purple, if you don't know that already. Purple's my favorite color. <laughs> I'm so excited, y'all. <laughs> okay, that's the purple one there. Again, it is a little streaky, and it's really sheer. But add a couple coats, and you are good to go. There's probably 10 on the website from these ultra matte lip glosses. And I got... Five out of ten. So either they were sold out or I wasn't into them, like they were too light or whatever the case might be. Blue, the purple one, or blue. This is, oh my god. This is in the color of like a dark royal blue almost, like kind of a purplish. Yeah, that's that. Holy crap. Can you say, oh my god. I cannot wait to do more makeup tutorials with these guys. Which is like everyday wear. Like, yes, honey. And it's coming true color on camera as it is on my wrist yes ultra matte as well give it a few more coats let it dry and we are <sighs> I'm so happy okay um all the stuff actually cost me $31 that's right 31 31 okay. for everything I got I would like I said for everything was a dollar um, the package of brushes for $10 like the lip glosses and stuff are all a dollar, so we're solid on that. So those are all the ones we have right now. Five, five more items to go through. Um, these are the... Oh! Okay, so this is the concealer. I want to have this lip gloss for some reason. I was excited to try it. This is the concealer that I got in the color Peach. I would like to try this out. Holy shoot. That's the concealer, y'all. Can you see that? That one right there. That's the concealer. That is so, like, white. <laughs> but that's the concealer that I have on there at the bottom. And that's the concealer that I got in peach. This is, again, one dollar. One dollar, y'all. One dollar. One dollar! See, that's that. So this is the other concealer. So I, I guess I got two concealers. This one here we just tried, which is peach. This one here is in Okay, so this is in peach. This is in beige. So we just swiped peach. Let's go ahead and swipe beige and see how this guy is going. Holy crap. This is more, I think, the kind of concealer I would actually go for because it is a lot lighter, but it's not so peachy. Do you guys know what I mean? Like this one here would be more my skin tone right now, the beige. This is probably more when I get come, when I get like darker. 
in the summer. You guys see that? So this is the beige one. And this is the peach, the peach and beige. I am beyond impressed right now with the concealers, the mattes, lip liners, which I kind of tried to get that match the lipstick. So we got the Wonder Lipstick, which is in pink, and it's called Fab. So that's just what, oh, that's just what that looks like there. So that's Fab, and I guess that's pretty similar to Are you done, Quincy? Are you done? Like, this doll mat, always gonna bark about something. We got purple, which is in bounce. These are coming out so beautiful, I can't. Like, I'm done, I'm done, I'm gone. Oh, yes. Um, so that is in bounce, right there. And then, last but not least, we got the color in Lager. It's a nude color. That one's beautiful too. I like that it's a lot. It's gorgeous. But these are freaking sick. I am so impressed with Miss A. Like, hello. If you guys haven't heard of Miss A, you need to go check them out right now. Like right now. I will leave everything I got. I'll leave everything I purchased down below. And you guys need to go check yourself out. Because like the everything I got, everything I got was $31. Everything. I think tax was like $1.72. It was not expensive at all. You want to get yourself some quality, good sh some good stuff. Like some good stuff. I'm gonna say go to Miss A like right now. You can find some things that you compare to like high-end, like it looks high-end, it looks beautiful packaging, and the quality of it all is to die for. Um, no, but everything in here that I purchased is amazing. Like, I'm I'm blown away. Like, I am blown away. I love it. I'm gonna end this, this video right where I am. Hope you guys enjoyed everything you saw today. I sure did. If you need questions or comments or concerns, just leave it down below and I'll get back to you. So go ahead and subscribe if you want to subscribe. Go ahead and like this video if you want to like this video. Go ahead and share this video if you want to share this video. And I'll see you royals later.